this video, I'll show you how to use the AI Smart Cutout feature in Filmora 12. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I've got my video right inside here and it's just somebody walking and it's just a really basic, simple video. I like to do a cutout of the background and that's really simple. So let's begin. Let's add our video to the timeline right inside there. Looks really good. Now, to access the AI Smart Cutout feature, we have this particular option here. And this option has the AI matting tools, chroma key, AI portrait, and Smart Cutout. Now, what the Smart Cutout does is that it removes everything with high accuracy and retains portraits, merchandise, icons, items, etc. So if I click on this, you have the option to use the Smart Cutout option. And this is a new feature. I can click on it. I'll just click on it. And once I do that, we'll get into this interface. Alternatively, what you can do is that, uh, let's just click OK. Alternatively, what you can do is you can just double click on the clip. And once you click on it, let's assume this is turned off and you're somewhere right about here. Once you land on it, you can scroll down and then enable it. And then you'll see uh, this particular option. So you can click to start the smart cutout option and it's uh, right about here. So what happens using this particular tool? You've got different options here. Uh, you have the brush that you can activate using W where you need to draw uh, what you see. And then you have a, diff uh, a couple of different options here, uh, the feet so that you can at least try and make sure that whatever you want to highlight is what is highlighted. And uh, then you can see the preview mode and then the overlay color that you get once your particular a smart cutout is done. So the video is right here. And then we've got the brush size, the edge thickness, and the edge feather. The advanced mode includes a couple of options where you can actually track one, uh, one section reverse, uh, track reverse, track forward and reverse, track forward. And we also have track one section forward. So for example, let's just draw our uh, AI cutout right here, the smart uh, cutout. And once you do that, we're going to make sure that it's available on this particular person. Let's go back to simple and then let's click to start smart cutout. It's going to track uh, tracking processing right there. Looks good. Everything looks good. Uh, that's going to be a little bit difficult slightly because we've got a tree somewhere there. But I believe it looks really, really good. Uh, for this video. So uh, it's right there. Let's click on save. And we already have the background removed. So we can click OK. Then I can go to something like uh, the stock media here. And then let's just add maybe something like uh, this particular. Okay, actually, let's actually go with this one. Uh, and we can actually reduce uh, the size of this. So if we actually now play our video, you can see that the fellow is walking in front of uh, this particular animal here. And then we can just double click on this and we can actually reduce the size of this fellow to whatever you want. Uh, so we can just have them uh, roaming around there. Click OK and then we can go back home and play. Uh, really gives a, good, a really cool and good effect. and. The AI Smart Cow does a good job, uh, but we noticed that we had uh, a tree somewhere about there. So what we might do is we might decide that probably his last move is somewhere there. So we can just bring that down to that and that to that. So this is what everything looks like. And that is how you can use the AI Smart Cutout feature in Filmora 12 to quickly remove the background uh, and then adjust the background and so on and so forth. It's really, really handy. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.